I'm going to try my best to explain this, but it may not make sense. Like I wish I had a good model during a C-section. I don't think anyone would purposely ever cut the cervix. Could there be scenarios where that needed to be done happen? Sure, but rare. But what can happen is you can have an extension of your hysterotomy to the cervix and even to the vagina. And it is a pain in the booty to fix. My mitt. Okay, picture this as your uterus, right? Sitting here, it's pregnant. We make the hysterotomy on the lower uterine seg segment. So this lower side here, this is in your body, but down here is gonna be your cervix. This is actually a really good model of a uterus. Okay, so you have the uterus. This is the top, the fundus. Think the fallopian tubes would come out this way, okay? So fundus, fallopian tubes would be around here. And here is the lower uterine segment. So we make a cut here. And then down here, you have your cervix and then your vagina would come out this way, okay? Now, what can happen is we make our cut here. We extend or we kind of, we make our cut here. We stretch this tissue, we get the baby out. And then we look and see because now we have a cut here. So we have to reapproximate this side to this side, right? We bring that together with suture to close that opening. What can happen when you get the baby out is you make your cut here. This side can extend down. This bottom part of the uterus can actually tear and extend down to the cervix that's here and even into the vagina. Now this is very rare, but remember we're operating like, right? If this is the body on the table, we're standing right here. So we're looking down and the cervix is deep in the pelvis, clearly, and the vagina is deeper because it's connects to the outside. You know what I mean? So getting an extension that runs all the way, like from the lower uterine segment to the cervix to the vagina is rare. It happens and you suture it together. But again, you're suturing and working in a dark hole, essentially, or a more difficult area to reach and everything's bleeding. So it's just challenging to stitch, but obviously you stitch it and you do it. Um, you just have to have a really good assistant to help you with exposure so that you can see everything, but it is really rare for it to happen. It usually heals really well without any sort of complication or anything like that. But yeah, it is, oof, it's tough to, it's tough to correct.